National championship game is set. UConn and San Diego State, the Huskies in their fifth national championship game. They are 4-0 in their previous appearances, including a victory right here in Houston in 2011. Jay Billis, Seth Greenberg, LaFonzo Wellis here. So this matchup here, two terrific teams. San Diego State maybe become the first five seed ever to win the national championship, while UConn is going for its fifth title overall. UConn's a prohibitive favorite. What's your initial impression of the matchup? Well, I think UConn has to come into the game with a defensive mindset. And they've been an outstanding defensive team all year long. They, they're probably underrated yes, defensively uh, because we talk about their offense so much and they've got so many weapons with the Dama Snogo inside and Jordan Hawkins knocking down threes and Tristan Newton uh, leading the team in assists along with Andre Jackson Jr. But I think when you play against San Diego State, you know, San Diego State is so good at taking away transition. I mean, they took away transition from a great transition team in Florida Atlantic. Uh, so it, it, you have to expect that they're going to be able to limit UConn in transition and try to make it more of a half-court game. But I think if UConn can do a good job defensively and take care of the ball, they had 14 turnovers in their game against Miami, and that, that's too many. You can't turn it over at that level against San Diego State. But, but I think UConn's got too many answers uh, with their offense and the combination of their defense and their rebounding. But, but a defensive mindset against San Diego State is going to be required. I right, look at San Diego State. Can they put enough pressure on UConn to push them out one step further to make it harder to enter the ball to the post? Mm -hmm. Can they take them out of rhythm by being physical when they're moving the ball, moving people, getting the ball reversed, and getting Jordan Hawkins coming off those dribble handoffs or all those pin downs? So maybe it's a step further out. Can they keep Sonogo off the glass? And I would think that's going to be a focal point. You've got to hit him early. You mm -hmm. can't let him dominate the mm -hmm. game. Uh, but then can San Diego State score enough? Can they score enough? The only way I think they could score enough is to get to the glass and create offense out of their defense. If not, I think Connecticut's going to win this uh, game. No question about it. And, and, and Jay, they're going to have to take good care of the basketball, Connecticut, because this is a San Diego State team that struggles to score at times. They can go these long periods. So it's important for them to get extra possessions. So they're going to have to get them off turnovers, and they're going to have to get them on the offensive glass. Problem is, UConn's really big in there, and Caravan does a nice job of rebounding from the power forward position as well. And when you start with Sonoma, go inside and then when he goes to the bench and you bring in Donovan Klingon at 7-2 who does a great job with vertical contest he moves his feet yes. I mean he, uh, Sonogo and Klingon protect the lane and protect the rim very yeah. effectively and I was really impressed I, I think Alex Caravan um, you know Joey Calcaterra Naheem Aline comes off the bench those guys can guard mm -hmm. and they, they do a good job defensively and, and I think that's got to be their focus going into the game that team can score UConn can score if they go Guard, they went. How about matchup Bradley and Jackson? Mm -hmm. That'll be an interesting matchup. I mean, Bradley was terrific today. He, like you talked about his patience, his shot fake, his ability to change speeds, his ability to get to the rim and be physical. He's playing against the dude that, to me, is the most unique player left in the tournament because he doesn't have to score a bucket to impact winning. How about some of the passes he oh threw? That God. one he threw yeah. to Sonogo, yeah. Yeah. leading yeah. him right into that move, was next level. Yeah, so I also wonder what happens if it's a close game. Because this was the closest game UConn's had in the tournament. It was a 13-point margin. They've outscored their opponents by over 100 points in the tournament. San Diego State has won consecutive games by a single. Yeah. They won, they've had other games that are decided by single digits, and they've been really good. How many can you win games. by one? And yeah. if UConn yeah. wins the game, I think Bob Hurley Sr. has to crack a smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was going to say, throughout his career, yeah. Dan Hurley has been somebody's son or somebody's brother in the game of basketball. Win one on Monday night, and maybe he's King of the Hurleys. Aren't you Danny's dad? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.